Jai Shri Krishna everyone. And a special welcome to this segment of this program dedicated to the late Lachman Ruptarayan who passed away in Trinidad eight years ago. The entire family takes the opportunity to remember their loving mom from Dad Joe, Dion, Dennis, Dinesh and Dilan. They would like to say, Mom, may your Atma be with the Lord and how much they miss you dearly. This special programming with bhajans, mantras and offerings dedicated to Sri Krishna Ji, Bhagwan Vishnu, may the Atma of this wonderful mother be placed in the hands of Sri Krishna Ji. We open with a prayer, friends, to Bhagwan. Om Gananam Tva Ganapati Vam Havamahe Kavim Kavinam Vastravastam Jishtarajam Brahmana Brahmanaspati Anasrim Vannodhi Nisidhsadam Ego Vinda Purushotam Mahapurushaya Govindaya Namo Namaha Sri Krishna Ya Govindaya Namaha Oh Namo Bhagavate we say lord krishna ji please bless all the souls of the world who have gone to the far beyond may the atma rest in the hands of yours to whom we should turn to but to your Sri Krishna Ji please bless this wonderful mother the late Lachman Ruknarayanji indeed a wonderful divine great simple and a noble soul loving kind and very hard working that made her children where they are today what a wonderful gesture for the boys to come together to serenade the Divine Mother, wherever she may be, may the blessings of Mom be with all of you. Please enjoy this special budget to all of our viewers, wherever you're logging in from. Thank you so much for viewing. Log in and let us know where you're logging in from. Also, please, please, the name of your mom who probably has Going to the fair beyond. Jai Shri Krishna, Satyati, Om Tatsa. Sureki Gati Me Kya Janu I'm not a 
friends, one day we all are going to depart from this world. And as we are customary hearing from our scriptures, life's journey depends on how we live. The mental road we build while we are alive. If you're a happy soul that love it, other human beings that serve other human beings, let's just love yourself and love God. It means that there is a special place you're going to go when you leave this physical world. And when you leave this world, you have nothing to worry about. Maji has nothing to worry about. Because she knows very well she has when she departs a free journey with first class ticket. Sometimes when we worry, friends, it's because we are doubting our existence. I believe if you love your children, you love what you do, you love yourself, you love God, you love your thoughts, you love your intelligence, you love everything about yourself. What is most important is loving God. And when you love yourself, love God, love people, love everything you do, then how can you not get a place with the Lord? Your flight will be on time. You'll get a first class seat. My dear friends, just love. Love. There is no pain in dying when you love. Live a good life. Just surrender to the Lord. Sarva Dharman Parichacha. Mami Kam Sharanam Rajaham. Aham Tvam Sarva Bhavya. Moksha Shami Mam Sucha. The family members are saying, Ma, we know you're in a good place because you had a good heart. You're always making us smile. You always made us think. You always made us do what is right. Sometimes we probably doubt you, probably didn't like everything you say then. But you know what, Ma? Whatever you said to us made sense. Whatever you said to us, we now see everything coming to pass. We love you, dear Ma. We just wish if we had one more moment, moment with you to say, we love you dearly. This wonderful Rupnarayan family dedicate a special time to honor you. Eight years journey. This beautiful selection. Please enjoy this. <laughs> Kabi sukhde sar sar 
never doubt ourselves and feel that we are the black book of God. Of course, if we do right things, we'll always be in the good books of the law. But keep pressing on and doing good things because your karma is what makes the path clear towards self-realization. Self-realization means emancipation of the soul towards God. And what can lead us there? is seeing good in others. Siya Ram mein sab jagajani karu pranam jodi chukapani. Seeing good in everyone. Someone gives you a bad drive, see God in them. Someone take your position in your job, see good in them, see love in them. You didn't get food when you came home, still see love in God everywhere. The wife or the husband looks at you badly, still love them. These things are temporary. Love, love, love is the way to God. Such as Sai Baba said, start your day with love. Live your day with love. End your day with love. Love before you go to sleep. Love, not in a wrong way, but in a good way. Love yourself. Love the gurus. Love the wisdom. Love your karma, whatever you do. Love where you are, who you are, what you are. No one can love you but yourself. No one can love others but you. And when you love, my dear friends, the Lord is going to take you and highlight you and inject and infuse so much great things in you. There's a beautiful verse in Bhagavad Gita that says in chapter 10, verse 39, Lord Krishna says, I am seated in the hearts of all. How can you not feel me? How can you not see me? How can you not recognize me when I am in the cradle of the heart? He says, you're looking for me. I am the seed giver of this, of all beings. He is the father. He says that I am. There is no other way but one proclaims. I control and I am in the animate and inanimate objects. I exist and everything exists in me. Friends, I will just chant this verse of Bhagavad Gita and dedicate it there to our dear Maji who has gone to the far beyond. Please, you can type in the name of your mother or father at this point in time and may the blessings of Lord Krishna bless all our souls. I know it's very painful to lose a mother. It's very, very painful to lose a father. It's very, very painful to lose a child. It's very painful to lose your best friend. It is very, very difficult. Lord Krishna says, I'm here to protect them and protect you. I'm here, I'm the seed giver of this world. He is a divine father. Everything stems from him. The root, the shoot, the fruit, they all come from that seed. The verse is, Yo chapi sarvutana aam bijantaram arjuna natat 
Why live our lives falsely? False, the false path is not the way to go in spirituality. It leads us to our own narak, our own hell. I believe when we live on earth, that is our real essence of spirituality. It's not only in the reading, not only in the pujas, pujas are great, not only in the yajnas, but more your personal life. That is your yajna. That is your puja as well. I believe the people we have around us, show them gratitude, show them love. Tell them how much you love them today. There may come a time, sometime soon, we don't know, where you will not be able to say, I love you, mom, I love you, dad. You will not be able to get that opportunity to smile or give them a kiss or hug. You know, people cry and you beg them to come back. But when they are alive, you don't even want to cross the road. You don't want to even take a drive to see them. And when they die, friends, we live in such remorse. We live in such guilt. And therefore, while people are alive, appreciate them, love them, take care of them, show your love. And so, even if they are far away, call them and appreciate them. To this Divine Mother who has gone to the far beyond, she did her part so well. The beautiful family had a wonderful network together and they really missed that. This beautiful bhajan, Jyoti Janama Gavaya Sadhu, very traditional, loving, very oldie goldy song. Please enjoy this. Jyoti Janama Gavaya Sadhu Jyoti Janama Gavaya Sadhu Jyoti Jan Oh, 
This verse tells us the simile of a water drum in the edge of a leaf that is ready to fall. The water drum is playing in the lotus petal. It is a symbol of our life that can be the edge. You just don't know when that drop will leave the leaf and fall. 
तलवत जीवितम अतिशय चपलम सो टू लाइफ is very unstable we are here today gone tomorrow everything looks normal today but tomorrow we get the news that life is not the same things will always change vidhi vyadha abhiman grastam lokam shoka atamcha samastam understand very clearly that everything is temporary why have this pride that this is mine and this is yours there is spur of the moment we can lose everything the lord has given us the opportunity to enjoy this world of material things the blink of an eye we can lose our money our family our home and our life why fight my friends live what is our answer to the lord when we when we go to him when we approach him after one day of our journey towards the divine meli chadar aur kaise dwar tumhare aaye lord we have come to your door with a dirty shawl hey pavan parameshwar mere i have come to your lord man hi man sharmao sharmao means i feel a shame that my shawl is now dirty I have dirty my mind, my intellect, my existence by thinking negative, by fighting, by quarreling, by complaining. Now I have approached you, Lord. Please be favorable to me. Now. Beautiful version. It says, "Mere chadan."
Hold on. When I had the physical body, I had the voice. I never sang your praises, Bhagwan. Nirmala Vali, you have given me Nirmala, pure voice. Bhagwan, you have given me a life. This body is like a sitar. It was so pure. But now, the body is broken. The strings are broken from the sitar. Never once I closed my eyes and think of you. My eyes was open looking of what I could have stretched and get for myself. This beautiful bhajan says, Oh Lord, my time I have now come to approach you. And this is what comes in a package. I feel ashamed to approach you, this song says.
She was 69 years of age and of course she passed away in Trinidad. The Rupnarayan family thought it was best to remember the mom who has gone to the far beyond eight years ago. And this is coming from Dad Joe. Dian, Dennis, Dinesh, Dylan, all the boys, all the with devotion, dedicated to the loving memory of the mom, Lakshmanji. They really, really remember her and love her. And those fun days that she ran behind you, laughed and hugged you, tickled you, fed you, carried you in her arms. Her mother, my dear friends, is the only one who can take you nine months in her stomach, three years in her hands, and everlasting in her heart as her mother. Nine months in the womb, she holds you three years and four years in her hands and everlasting she remains in the heart. She loves her children dearly. And so today, how oh, we can ever forget her mother. Let's be right. If you, we have your mother, please place her name in this comment. Say what you feel and how she, how you feel towards your mom. If she's not there, just please Jai Shri Krishna. If your mom is alive, you can type in how the kind of person she is. We love these comments because it helps others. It helps people to feel a sense of belonging. It helps people to connect with each other. And when you say something nice, it helps someone feel nice and do things nicely. This life is about communicating, connecting with each other. But stating how we feel, that's the reason why we love your comments. Not how much comments, but what you say that can touch the lives of others. Sri Krishna Ji, we love you dearly, O Lord. Please take care of all the souls. Please take care of the living. Please take care of the leaders. Take care of the teachers, the policemen, the nurses, the frontline workers. Take care of the engineers, the teachers. Take care of our leaders. 
Take care of the world, the Lord. Please enjoy this one.
the gopis in Vrindavan, they love Krishna Shri so much. That one day, there was a gopi who was not allowed to go and see Krishna Shri. Her friends, the gopis, the girls would go under the full moon evening. And when Krishna Ji would play his basuri, they all would run towards him, and glorify him, dance around him when he plays the magical divine rag in the basuri. See, the basuri starts with sa, it ends with sa. Sa means the sakar, the avatar, the god. And it ends with ni nirgun. Sagun nirgun. The form and the formless. So Krishna Ji allowed all the devotees to dance with him and to know him. This one lady was tied by her husband. She never allowed her. Her husband never allowed her to go to play and to dance with Sri Krishna Ji. But unconsciously, when she fell conscious before she died, her soul was there dancing with Krishna Ji. All the gopis saw her. Everyone saw like if this lady was there in person. See, when we have a yearning, a longing for Krishna, for God, He allows everything to happen the right way, the right time. He makes the impossible becomes possible. Therefore, if you have an urge or a desire for something wonderful with the Lord, like a yajna, a puja, a satsang, or to meet a great guru, or some sort of enlightenment, Krishna Ji will put you in that place, that time, that moment, that zone, that timeline, to give you that connection of His direction, of the person you need to meet, of the song you need to hear, the place you need to go, the people we need to meet. He allows right great things to happen to us. Hey Krishna Ji, we bow to you again and again. He can hear you. Guru Vrindavan Bihari Rādhiti Jai
savior of this world. Today we ask you to save the souls that have gone to the far beyond. But one, you are the foundation. You are the indweller of all beings. Tum jaan ta sab antar yami karmi ka chuna kare. Aagun moti visarat nahi. You are the indweller. You are the sweetness of the fruits. You are the, behind all my actions. I call upon you. I ignite that light and recognize you in my heart. You are not far away, but you are very close to me as you listen to me. Please enjoy this lecture, everyone.
you would not get an extra moment, a pal or mahina or sal, a year, a month or a moment. When that time comes, you have to leave. You have to leave. So when we leave, my dear friends, we leave with a pure heart. That is the only thing that will remain pure, will remain nirmal, and will remain just as what the Lord will want to recognize. I know as we get older, we it's only natural that we redo the body, and that's okay. But the heart, my dear friends, you can only redo with devotion. You can redo the body with makeup and dye and cosmetics, but the heart you can only make up with love and renew with love. The emotions, the mind can only be redone by positive thinking and love for the Lord. There was once a lady who did an operation and when she did this operation, the doctor said, you know, you will be able to live long. You have at least 40 years to live. The lady thought she was going to die. And uh, she said, God, I have a lot more time. The Lord gave us an extended time. And uh, she went and remodeled her body with new hair, teeth, and bone, you know, like uh, facial and so on. And uh, when she left that place, the beauty parlor, and she was crossing the road, a truck smashed her and she died. And she asked the Lord, Lord, but you told me I have 14 years to live. And look at my condition. You didn't stick to what you were mentioning to me. You didn't stay with your promise. And then the Lord smiled and said to her, you know what? You went and redo your body. I myself did not make you out. You change up the whole body. I myself did not recognize you. However, the Lord, in a serious side, He recognized the genuine love of the heart. This is what He wants us to have, to recondition our hearts with love and devotion. And so this wonderful mother, this beautiful, wonderful mother, Lachman, the late Lachman Ruknarayan, would have conditioned her heart with so much love for her children, for her family, her duty, and for the Lord. May Bhagwan always bless her now and always. May Bhagwan Krishna be with all of you, friends. Please let us know where you're logging in from. Tell us the name of your mother, your parents that may not be alive. May Krishna Ji bless them. Please place the name in the comments. Jai Shri Krishna, Hari Om. That's it. Gajade Nambhu Tagaladi Sen Vitam Kapitta Jambhu Palisare Utsav means festival. But one wants us to allow life to be a festival. Colors, a beauty to enjoy. And how do we enjoy? We enjoy intellectually. When our intellect is sharp. When our intellect does not doubt our existence, then life becomes a festival. My dear friends, Ganesh tree is highlighted during this time. He is the only deity that is given so many days of honor and worship. Why? Because he is honored firstly. He is the remover of all obstacles, all challenges, all difficulties. Always call his name first. O Sri Ganesh Ayu Namaha. Building a home, purchasing a new car, in a new journey, in a new class, a new home, a new venture, a new country, always honor Lord Ganesh. He will remove obstacles. And when obstacles come, they can really, really come, friends, for you. For Lord Ganesh Ji, please bless all the students of the world. He holds the Laddu. The Laddu is a symbol of Karma Pala or 
punya, the good results of your past karma, your deeds. May He awards us. May He give us the award of divinity and our path be tread with love towards Him. May He clear our path in every way of the ministry. To all the students, to all the teachers, all the leaders, everyone, may Ganeshji bless you. Please enjoy the selection, everyone. Grounds that's next to Sybil's in Richmond Hill. You know where it is. I will be there for 7:15. Puja will begin at 5 p.m. The group and myself, with lots of energy to Lord Ganesh Ji, we will sing his praises and, of, of course, glorify him in many ways. We are asking all the devotees of New York City, wherever you are in that area, to please come forward and join with us. You will be given an opportunity. You can walk with your coconut to burst. You can walk with your flowers and offerings to Ganapati. We'll have an amazing evening. Please join us this evening in Richmond Hill at the Arya's Maj uh, ground. So we look forward to seeing you there. Namaste as we continue our program. Jai Shri Ganesh Devi <laughs> The song tells us how oh, very precious. Anumur. Anumur means very precious. This life is this jeev. Let us not doubt our existence. Let us not fail to recognize that the Lord you're looking for and right within us. 
And sometimes we question why people take their lives, why suicide. We are asking all of our young friends to not go that way. If you think you have problems and you commit suicide, you take your life. It's like telling God you, not, you did not appreciate His gift. When you take your life, you create more struggles and more pain, and more sadness and depression, and you're doomed forever. You cannot be liberated that way. Therefore, if you have challenges, depression, failures, something did not work out right, your marriage, your wealth, your health, people hurt you, that doesn't mean that you have to be angry with the Lord and angry with life. You should boost yourself more to become a better person and not a bitter person. A matter of fact, when you go through such pain, you have better gain. God will give you triple for your trouble. So don't find faults and don't feel the world is coming to an end. It is just a bend, not the end. So a message to everyone, if you have how hard it is, in marriage, wealth, family, any issue, never take your life. Never turn towards poison. Never take this precious animal, this life God has given to you. You wouldn't believe how precious it is. If I were you, I would love myself and appreciate who I am more, with even more struggles. Mirabai, with so much pain, Amrit Kapyas. When she was about to drink this Vishakapyala, that poison, it was transformed to Amrit. The Lord is going to change your pain to gain. He's going to bring colors in your life. He's going to bring true meaning to your life. He's going to bring magnificent, wonderful things to you. Don't give up. Have faith. Please enjoy this lecture.
You can come with your offerings. We'll be having a wonderful evening with high energy. Please share this message to everyone. With this, we'd like to conclude with uh, mantra to Bhagavan, wherever this wonderful, amazing mother, wherever she may be with Bhagavan Krishna Ji, always uplift and guide her soul. Please pray with us as we conclude this wonderful session to this wonderful family, the Rupnarayan family. Itna to